What is going on guys? Welcome back to Pokemon Omega Ruby. So I just healed up with that traveling nurse Joy Lady. And now let's uh, let's go ahead and battle this gentleman right here. With my Pokemon, I've traveled the world's four corners. You might say I have some, some confidence in my abilities. You might say that, huh? Alright, so... Gentleman Walter has one Pokemon. Walter White over here has a Manectric. Very nice. Well, guess what? I have a Manectric of my own. So that's... That's kind of freaking annoying. This guy's jocking my style with a level 35 Manectric. You know what, then? I'm gonna switch into Little Root. And Little Root is going to be able to destroy your bitch ass. I could still really use a ground type for these damn electrics, but whatever. So he's gonna go for the Thunder Fang. Since it's uh, not very effective, doesn't matter. I could have Mega Evolve and then make it so this thing can't hurt me with my Lightning Rod. But you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna Leaf Blade this bitch. And that's gonna be an easy one hit KO with a crit. Hell yeah. Critical hit for the win as Little Root grows to level 38. Not too bad at all. Not too bad. Gentleman Walter was defeated. Ah, well played. Want some blue meth? Alright, so, um... Let's go over this way. I believe there's an item of some sort. Something something like that. Hold on, we gotta run through this freaking tall grass. She don't even have to, but... Find a, find a wild Lanoon. Get the hell up out of here, Lanoon. Nobody wants you. Okay, so... I th at least I think there was an item over here. Yep, there's an item. It's a Carbos. Nice. Some more drugs. Hell yeah. We're just stocking up on drugs. I'm going to probably end up using those right before I battle the Elite Four on my Pokemon. Should be pretty helpful by that time. So, another freaking wild Pokemon. <clears throat> and it's a horde of Shuppet. Holy shit. <laughs> wow. So you can apparently start finding hordes now, so that's pretty cool. Oh, God. I have to wait for all of these things to freaking frisk my shit. Okay, only three of them. That's cool. We're just gonna run from you assholes. It takes forever to run from these things because it has to, like, calculate the speed on all of them. Hold on. So let's fuck these wild Pokemon. It is time for a super repel. Alright. Now we good. Let's see here. So we can go up over here to the right as there's another trainer. What's up? Will you play with my delightfully pretty Pokemon? I won't play with it, but I'll kill it, probably. That'll be... It's kind of more my style. So, Poke fan, Vanessa has a Pikachu. Nice, alright. What's going on, Pikachu? So, Cornelius seems to be running into a bunch of freaking electric types. That's annoying as hell. You know what? I'm just gonna go for the overheat. Probably gonna do a dick load of damage. And that Pikachu dies in one hit. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's what I thought, Pikachu. And Cornelius grows to level 39. Jesus, this guy is growing up quick. That isn't what I meant. Well, then why would you battle me if that's not what you meant? So, all right, let's um, let's go ahead and switch Cornelius out of the front. Let's put, let's put Drunky in front. This guy's been neglected for a little bit, so why not? Over here we have a little cut bush. It's actually rather helpful to have a Sceptile with cut, honestly, <laughs> just because these cut areas come up pretty quick. And we found a shiny stone right there. Cool. So I shall take that, and I'll be on my way. God damn it, can't fucking fit my bike through this shit. Okay, so should we go... Oh, what the hell Pokemon was that? Let's figure out what this is. It is going to be a... Oh, and this is another freaking Gloom. So that one had Synthesis, so that's kind of cool, I guess. But, screw you, Gloom. Nobody wants you. Over here we got some berries. Some nap berries. I'm just going to take one tree of them. Ain't nobody got time for taking all those bitches. Okay. So, pretty much used a super repel for nothing, but whatever. Now we have arrived in Lily Cove City, where the land ends and the sea begins. So that's cool. We can go ahead and explore around a little bit here. Let's just start over this way. Check out what's going on in this house. We're gonna fully explore Lily Cove, see what this place has to offer. No. Repel wore off? Alright. There's a super deep underwater trench between Moss Deep and Sutopolis, or that's what I heard at least. Can't say for sure if it's true or anything. All right, so we're gonna be we're gonna be diving pretty soon here. The planet's greatest mystery, mysteries lie in the rest of the bottom. Say, okay, cool. So these dudes are talking about dive. These dudes are all about diving right there. What's up, backpacker? The Helen region shines with the beauty of its waterways and inverted nature. Cool. What are you doing standing in front of the Poké Center? I'm the Memory Girl. I can read Pokémon's memories. You want to know the memory of your Pokémon? Sure. What Pokemon of memories do I want to know? Um, it actually takes us to our box. 
Let's use Masquerade, see what this thing's got to offer. Pinhead was with Hayden when he caught Spinda. Pokemon still remember? Remembers that it was glad. Do you want to know another Pokemon's memory? Okay, well that was... That's kind of pointless, honestly. Over here, what's going on? Team Magma's been training their Whelmer in the cove. We sailors can't get our boats out to sea with them in the way. Well, that's annoying. Sorry about that. So this is another contest hall where you can fuck around with some contests. Probably gonna go ahead and not, though. Over here, we have another house. See what's going on in here. Holy shit, these guys are playing their DS's. <laughs> when, my wife gave, when my wife gave birth to quadruplets, you bet I was shocked. But now seeing them play together makes me happy. Jeez, that's a handful right there. Are you traveling alone? But you're so good, you know, so young. Good for you. I'm sure my kids can learn a thing or two from you. Me? I'm a Poke Pokeblock master. No, I don't want to learn about Pokeblocks. Pokeblocks are lame. Pretty much just for contests and stuff like that. So let's go over this way, actually. See what's going on. What the hell is this place? Lily Cove Lily Motel. Okay. See what's, ha see what's happening up in the old motel. Sup, guy? <clears throat> hmm. So they doubled the guest by using Pokemon as attractions? Hmm, well, maybe I should use... Should make a cute Pokemon. Our mascots. Okay, cool. That's... Oh, sorry, sorry. I was so absorbed in watching TV. Since that Team Magma came to town, the tourists have been staying away. Well. No one likes Team Magma. Just goes to show. There's a vending machine right there. That's cool. Over here, there's basically just absolutely no one in this place. This is an abandoned ass motel. Alright, so, there is not literally a single person in here. I'm figuring after we do the Team Magma stuff in this place, there's probably gonna be some people in here that might do something. I don't know. Either way, nothing up in there. Hey, what's, what the hell are you doing? If this whole wide world becomes ours, Team Magma's. Everybody, ours, Team Magma. Yeah, but shut the hell up. I'm sure everyone will be happier. Okay, cool. So, well, that is neat. What are you doing here? This is where fans of Contest Spectacular Trainers hold passionate discussions every day. What Pokemon does uh, what Contest I don't always have with her? What? I don't know. You have to, I'm pretty sure it's Altaria. You gotta bring an Altaria to that guy. He'll probably give you something, so that's cool. Hey, Aiden! Hey, what's up? Would you look who it is? Don't tell me. Are you here for the shopping too, Hayden? No, I'm just here because it was the next town on my damn quest. But, fortunately, this place does have the Lily Cove department store. When I saw you, I figured maybe you'd come here to do some shopping, same as me. Alright, do, do we battle May here? I think we do. I'm afraid I already bought uh, tons of stuff, like Pokemon dolls and posters and... But, that's not all I've been doing, of course. I've also caught tons of different Pokemon and I've been raising them well, too. Really? Yes. You doubt me? I think the bigger question here is whether you're raising your Pokemon right, not me. So that settles it. Let's have a battle. Alright, so we're gonna get another little rival battle going on, going on here. Sweet. Sweet. So this is May. She has four Pokemon. She's probably gonna lead off with the room. Oh no, she's gonna lead off with a Swellow. Okay. She got, herself a, she got herself a Swellow. That's pretty neat. And the background of this is actually awesome. You can totally like see the town and stuff, but it doesn't really look much like where we were just standing. But okay, I don't, I don't doubt it. Um, <clears throat> alright, Swellow, let's see here, I'm a dizzy punch, yo, bitch ass. Yeah, he's gonna go for a double team. Really? Real mature! Totally wish I was leading off with Cornelius like I was a minute ago, but whatever. Dizzy punch is gonna do a decent amount, and I get the confusion. Hell yeah. Now let's just go ahead and dizzy punch that motherfucker again. Hurt yourself, hurt yourself, hurt yourself, it- Yo, oh, damn it, it hits me with an aerial ace. And that did not do very much at all. Level 37 Swallow versus level 37 Drunky. Now I'm gonna go ahead and sucker punch as it failed. Fuck off. Alright, I hope you hurt yourself now. I hope you hurt yourself. Yes. Oh my god, it almost killed itself. I'm gonna try to sucker punch again. What the fuck it avoided the attack? Who do you think you are, Swallow? Wow, I totally would have just killed that with a sucker punch. Ugh. It avoided my sucker punch. Now it's gonna snap out of confusion, go for another double team. This thing can suck my balls. Should I just try to sucker punch again? Maybe he's gonna... Yes, I landed it! Alright! So, punch your bird right in the face, and that is a dead swallow. Alright, alright, alright. Drunky gaining dat experience. Next is a whale lord. Holy shit, her whalemer evolved, guys. Oh my god, let's go into Little Root on this one. This whalemer is about to take up the whole entire damn battlefield. Big ass whalemer. What is going on? Alright. I'm gonna Mega Evolve, just so I can look badass, and I'm gonna give you a nice little Leaf Blade. 
Use my sweet little bracelet thingy. Show me what we're freaking capable of. Oh, yeah. I wonder if her Blaziken is going to Mega Evolve. That'd be pretty cool. So I get a sweet little tail thingy. Now I'm going to give this guy a Leaf Blade, which is an easy one-hit kill. And that Whale that Lord did not get to do shit. Ha! Ah. Take that, Whale Lord. <clears throat> Next is the Blaziken. So we're going to go ahead and switch. Um... Who should kill this blaze again? I want to do it with Big Gulp. Yeah, let's just do it with Big Gulp. You got this, Pelipper. You got this shit. Alright, so this is the Blaziken. She finally got her final evolution. It's level 39, and holy hell, that is quite high level. So it's going to go for a Blaze Kick. Big Gulp, don't give a shit about that. And I'm going to throw some water at you, which is going to be an easy one hit kill. Not bad, not bad. We get a butt load of experience for that. As Big Gulp grows to level 39. Wants to learn Fling. I'm gonna go ahead and say no. Screw that noise. Next Pokemon is a Breloom. You know, we're just gonna stay in. So her Shroomish also evolved. This bitch has got some finally... Ev final evolved forms of her stuff. That's pretty cool. It's gonna go for a Mind Reader, so it's gonna land its next attack, whatever it's might, it might be. This Air Cutter is going to do a buttload of damage, though. Sorry about that, Breloom. And now that's going to kill you in one hit. Four times effective is what I'm talking about. And May was defeated. You suck. You still suck, May. Received $1,560. Very nice. Ah, this reminds me of the battle I had with you back on Route 103. You were able to be become this strong because you battled me back then, right, Hayden? What would you think if I said something like that? <laughs> what? Sh sh shut up, May. You're lucky I don't smack you right now. I'm actually thinking that it's about time I went back to Little Root, though. Had a lot of different Pokemon, and my Pokedex is pretty complete, so I think I could get, should go show it to my dad. Huh? Did something just sparkle in your bag? It was like the light from that meteorite. Oh, nothing. Sorry, just forget it. I'm probably just imagining things. But yeah, everybody keeps talking about our sparkly meteorite. The hell? You're gonna collect all the gym badges and take on the Pokemon League challenge? Hell yeah, I am! Typical Hayden. Then, while you're collecting your badges, I guess I'll go and complete my Pokedex. I guess I'll be off then. So May's pri primary objective is to complete the Pokedex, but we don't play that noise. We about to be Poke Champions. So over this way we have the Lily Cove Museum. That's cool. We might as well go take might as well go take a look in here. See if there's anything we can get at this museum. Well, you can see many fantastic paintings. Cool. Well, over here we got a Shroomish sculpture. That's pretty sweet. What is this? This is a sculpture depicting Shroomish. It's created by an up-and-coming artist. Nice. What have we got over here? This Pokemon is adorable, just like our little boy. So over here, that is an Arceus. Holy shit! Artists painted this from their imagination. Over here, it's painting a beautiful spying Luma with a Pokemon on her lap. It's a Curlia. It looks like we have like a Roselia over here. Sweet. Pretty interesting paintings. What the hell is this big Pokeball? It's a big Pokeball carved from a black stone. It was apparently used in festivals in the olden days. Well, that's cool. Over here, this looks like a... Pidgeot, famous culture, depicts an ancient bird Pokemon. Okay, never mind. This is like an Articuno or something. Over this way, what's going on? I asked them to, this museum to display my art, but they turned me down. What kind of museum doesn't appreciate my art? Yeesh. How about you? Are you interested in my art? Yeah, sure. I'm so glad I finally met a trainer who appreciates their art. I didn't even get to see your art, but whatever. I'll specially sell my art for $100,000, dude. Fuck that. Screw that. We do not have the funds to be buying art right now. Over here we got some crazy, some crazy paintings. There's a Ralts. Look like there's a freaking Giratina right there. Nice. What what works of great magnific magnificence? Cool. What's going on over here? I'm the curator of this museum of fine arts. Well, aren't they all fantastic pieces of art with history? On huh, the second floor. Well, I've been thinking about displaying something different, something more lively on the second floor. Well, so we cannot go on the second floor quite yet. <clears throat> but I'm assuming we're going to be able to do that later. For now, let's go ahead and take a look inside the big ass department store where we can buy all sorts of shit. What's going on? Okay, I think we talked to this lady and she gets us like a raffle ticket or something. Yeah. All shoppers visiting our department store get to draw a Pokemon Lotto ticket. If the Lotto ticket's number matches the ID number of any of your Pokemon, you'll receive a fabulous gift. Okay, we'll try it. Sure. Pick a Lotto ticket. Alright. 61229. Please. Oh, uh-uh. Damn it. None of the numbers matched. You gotta be shitting me. Well, that's a bummer. Anyways, let's go upstairs. I believe if you match all of them right, you get like a Master Ball, which is pretty cool. So obviously the more Pokemon you catch, the higher chance you have to win that. So this person's selling some balls, some potions, some full restores. I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple of those. Why not? Hell yeah. We got your Black Friday shopping right now. 
Got some repels and all that kind of good stuff. What do you have next door? You just got some dolls. You have three. You sell them three things. What the hell is your deal? This is a sweet table right here. I like it. I like it. Let's go on, sailor. Leaving on a long journey soon. One of these guys in here has got to be significant. I doubt it though. Let's just go up, uh, up the old stairs. We might as well check out every kind of layer of this place. Sup? So you sell the X attacks, which are completely useless. I don't think I've ever seen one person actually use those items. This person sells some drugs. All right, all right. That'll actually, that'll actually come in handy a bit later. EV training and stuff like that. Let me go up this way. What are you guys selling? So you've got some fire blast. Oh shit! You can buy stone edge focus blast. Oh my god! There's some actually pretty good moves here. Pretty solid moves. I think I'm going to decline on those for now, though. You sell Protect, Safeguard, Reflect, and Light Screen. Well, that is interesting. Okay, so they sell some actually pretty decent moves here. Pretty cool. Let's go up over onto this next one. What, how many floors are there to this place? When the hell am I going to get to the roof? Holy shit, there's a bunch of people here. Let's see what you're selling. You're selling a whole bunch of dolls. I'm guessing this is the area for secret bases. Oh yeah, you can just get your secret base nice and pimpin' if you cruise to this place. They got everything you could possibly want. Then we'll go up to the top, and wow, this is a pretty nice place. Oh, I'm bone dry thirsty. Hold on. Let me just go ahead and grab a fresh water then for you, bro. Obtain a fresh water? Okay, okay, why didn't this guy just buy his own water? But, would you like to buy another one? No, can I give it to this guy? Nope, you can't give your water to that guy, damn it. I was trying to do a good deed, but it wouldn't freaking let me. What is, what the hell is this? <laughs> yes, look at me. Sweet. Okay, what's going on over here? Yes, I've been waiting a long time for this clearance sale. If I didn't see you can only get here. So I'm going to load up. Yes, I am. What timing? We're holding our regular clearance sale. Oh, shit. Mud ball. We'll burst if you step on it. So this is just a whole bunch more things for secret bases. And look at that. They have everything for this shit. That's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. So... I'm going to go ahead and take a nice seat, relax our little legs real quick, and now we shall be on our way. So, okay, that was a pretty cool experience in the department store, I guess. Didn't really buy too much, but whatever. Now let's go over this way, hit up that elevator, and we shall be on our way. Which floor would you like to go to? We'll go to the first floor. And let's get the hell up out of here. So, alright. Pretty nice store you got here. Nice establishment. I'm going to give you a nice Yelp review. For sure. Over here we have the move deleter's house. Nice, nice. What the hell are you doing here? Hey, you! Don't go near the cave in the cove. Why? You don't need a reason why. I'm an adult, so you just listen to me. Okay. You ain't no adult. What's going on here? Pokemon are like partners to us humans. They certainly aren't to be used like tools. Unfortunately, there are some people who fail to understand that. Indeed. So there's no significance to that house. Now let's go over this way. Oh, what's going on, guy? When it gets right down to it, the same way. Suits suit me perfectly. The crisp breeze suits the sea. And we get a Petra Berry. Why would you give me a Petra Berry? I have like a thousand of these damn things. So they actually made it so you can hop up this way now. That's actually pretty interesting. Rather helpful. What the hell are you guys doing here? I have no idea what the boss is thinking. I'm still here though. To me, being here with Team Magma is the only chance I'll have to make a real connection with someone. Who, who are you? Don't stand there without my permission listening to me talk to myself. Okay. Alright, sorry. Didn't mean to fucking bother you. Jesus. Hmm, you know... Of the peculiar cavern in this cove, it was a natural formation, but then, then that Team Magma lot came along and made their renovations. They say they're Team Magma for humanity, but to us they're just a big pain. Yeah, tell me about it, man. These guys are just a big pain. What I heard is that in some reason they wake up Pokemon with one of these, and we get the Poke- Oh, obtain a Poke Flute for his base. Nice. Well, that's cool. Oh, what? Let me see. I'm half asleep here, just take this. And we get TM44 for rest. So we get the Poke Flute and rest in the same house. That's interesting. Sweet. What is the, I wonder what the Poke Flute does in secret bases, though. Probably pretty sweet. We're going to go ahead and our, ride our bike on the sand because we don't give a fuck. And all right. I thought that was, there was going to be an item on that thing, but unfortunately not. So there is an item actually right there. I'm going to have to remember to go ahead and grab that. But let's see here. So if we go... Over this way, there's a whole bunch of Whalmers. There, Whalmer, now leap out of the water. Who are you? You're getting in the way of my training. You lost. Well, titties. 
let's go up over this way. I believe we're actually supposed to go supposed to get a slate port before we can do any of this, but let's check out what's going on in this cave. Team Magma Hideout. And damn, they did some renovations indeed to this place. Holy shit. What is going on, guys? Mumble mumble. I stopped whining about standing all day and it doesn't bother me anymore. What? What do you want with Team Magma? Our boss isn't here. He's in Slateport City. Do you think I'd really tell you something that crucial? Well, okay. So he told us pretty much that we got to go to Slateport. So that's that's helpful. Thanks, guy. It's all the information I pretty much needed. So we're gonna go to Slateport. There's probably gonna be something going down with that submarine thingy, and then we'll cruise back up into this place. So let's get out of here. And I actually haven't even taught a Pokemon Fly yet. Let's go ahead and do that right now. So we do have Fly, and Pelipper is the only one available to learn it. But it's actually perfect. Because now I can have Surf and Fly on the same Pokemon. He'll always be with us. Let's go ahead and get rid of. Let's get rid of Bo Brine. Never use Brine. Surf is good enough. So now we got Fly. That is what I'm talking about. All right. So now let's go ahead, and use our Mr. Pelper to fly us back to Slateport. I'm gonna go ahead and use Fly. All right. Slateport City. Let's do it. Up on our sweet ass Pelipper, which doesn't look like a Pelipper anymore, but whatever. And that was the quickest fly ever, and guess what? Now we're in Slateport. So, great success. Now we gotta go to. Okay, this place looks like the right place. Yes, indeed. And that is why we intend to move ahead with our expedition. That's wonderful, Captain Stern. Thank you for taking time from your busy schedule to talk to us. We hope we can interview you again with news of more discoveries. Captain Stern, look at how famous this dude is. That was my first time being filmed for TV. What a nerve-wracking experience. Does he see me? Does he notice me? Oh, what's up? Oh, it's you again. You're looking well. Glad to see it. We made a huge discovery on our last latest expedition to the seafloor. We found an underwater cavern on Route 128. We think it might be the den of a super ancient Pokemon long thought to have been extinct. Oh, shit. No kidding. Oh, God. Something's happening. I presume you can hear me. We have Team Magma. We'll now assume control of your famed submarine. Take pride in the fact that your invention will serve as a linchpin for the next great step in humanity's development. Oh, they're gonna steal this homie submarine? Come on. How are you gonna do Captain Stern dirty like that? Do you hear that voice? It's like someone is using a megaphone. But where's it coming from? Where the hell is it coming from? It came from the harbor. Our submarine! They took it! Young man, I'm sorry, but please come with me. Oh shit, it is going down. So let's go ahead and uh, come with that guy. And what is going on here? Oh, these assholes. They're the same lot who tried to take the Devon parts at the museum. These motherfuckers, though. Stop right there! <laughs> so you've bothered to chase me, Maxie, all the way here from Mount Pyre. Oh, you've earned respect for the persistence you have shown. However, none can stop us now. All that remains is to retrofit the submarine and force our way onto the seafloor cabin where the great Pokemon sleeps. Our plan to propel humanity to its ultimate heights have been entered their final stage, if you wish to prolong your futile struggle, I will not deny your right to try. Our hideout lies in Lily Cove, Kids, Cove City. Follow us to our very door if you feel that justice, justice demands it. Okay, so we're going to go back to Lily Cove after this. And I'm guessing some shit's going to go down. Oh, shit. Oh, what's going on? Yes, sir. This way, Leader Maxi. You should make the haze. Okay, let's go. let us go. So they're just going to go ahead and hop on the submarine. We make absolutely no effort to stop them. We're just like, you know what? Just, just do your thing. Just go for it. Fuck it. Bam, 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 bam. This is not just for buying time, I'll flatten you. Oh, okay, so we're gonna have to go ahead and battle these two people. And it probably is just for buying time. The liar. So this guy's got one Pokemon, it's a Mighty Yenna. Nice. Well, guess what? I have a cuddly ass little drunk teddy bear. So be prepared for that. It's gonna go ahead and intimidate me, that's annoying. And Drunky's actually not looking too hot. So let's go ahead and switch into Pinhead now. So I wonder what this one's gonna do. I think this is like the first Mighty Anna we've seen with Intimidate. I'm gonna go ahead and Intimidate you right back, motherfucker. As you're gonna go for an Assurance and catch that Rock Helmet. Hell yeah. Look how much damage the Rocky Helmet does. That's awesome. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit you with a Silver Wind. And that should do a decent amount of damage. And alright, that's a one-hit kill. Hell yeah, Pinhead. Okay, it was a critical hit, but still, one-hit KO. That's all that matters. Pinhead grows to level 39. Not bad at all. And Drunky grew to level 38. So that grunt was defeated. I'm speechless. 
was pretty quick. I'm guessing we're gonna have to battle this person now. I was the one who was flattened. Seems I have no choice. It takes me, a Team Magma Ace Grunt, to take care of you. Oh man, an Ace Grunt. Did you did you hear that, guys? She is important. So she's got two Pokemon. She's gonna lead off with a Numel. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. So you got yourself just a little baby Numel. Um, Drunky is definitely hurting here. But you know what? I'm gonna go for a Dizzy Punch anyways. See how much I can do to this thing. And oh, almost killed it in one hit. Now he's gonna go over an Earth Power, which will probably kill me. No, yeah, damn it. Damn it, Drunky. Almost thought you were gonna be able to live that, but not quite. Not quite. Um, let's just, let's see here. I'm just gonna go into Little Root to kill it, just because Little Root needs experience. Everybody's 39. Poor Little Root over here, only 38. I'm just gonna go ahead and Mega Drain yo ass. And that is going to kill your little baby Numel. Why would an Ace Grunt have a Numel? Like, you can't just evolve it into a camera up? Like, what's your deal? Little Root gained that experience. Next is a Golbat. Alright, not the right matchup here. So, we're going to go into Cornelius, and this Golbat is about to get electric shocked to hell. Here we go, Cornelius. Alright, level 34 Golbat. I ain't afraid of you. Discharge to your face. Alright, great success. So the Golbat dies, and both of, the, both of these Magma Grunts have been defeated. What? What's going on? You just got fucked up, that's what's going on. But, but, I'm a Team Magma Ace Grunt, how could I have lost? Mission complete, let's head for the hideout and join the project to modify the submarine. Yes, I can't wait to see the progress on the submarine. Alright, so they're heading back to the base. Sorry about that, Captain Stern, they just dumb stole your submarine. Those criminals, what are they planning to do with my submarine Explorer 1? They can't be. They can't be after the super ancient Pokemon that slumbers at the bottom of the sea. Hayden, I'm sorry, but my stolen submarine, it could bring an unimaginable disaster upon the world. Someone has to get their hideout, get to their hideout in Lily Cove and stop them. But I have not, got no chance alone. Please, may I ask for your help? At least I can get you as far as Lily Cove where their hideout is. Do you think you and your Pokemon could put a stop to them and save my submarine from being evil? Please. Hell yeah, you betcha I will, Stack Captain Stern. Thank you. We'll launch at once. Launch on what? There's nothing there. Okay, apparently, apparently he brings up like a boat, and are we back in, are we in Lily Cove now? We're right in Lily Cove City, alright. Those thieves who stole my submarine must be hiding out somewhere else in the city. Please, find my sub for me, I'll be heading back to Shipyard and Slateport to start dealing with this aftermath. Okay, cool. So, next mission, go back to the hideout and then kick some magma ass. So, we're gonna do that next time.